just weeks ago, Sky News walking into this prison would have been actually impossible. Ecuador's gangs were in complete control, were armed and occasionally visited their cells just to sleep. The transformation at the hands of the country's military is astonishing. And these are the most serious criminals. In this wing, the prisoners wait in line for permission to eat after they said prayers. In other wings, they're called forward cell by cell to collect their food and return, again waiting for permission to begin. Now reclassified as terrorists, huge numbers of gang members have been rounded up and locked up. This prison in the city of Esmeraldas was actually the operating headquarters of the gang Los Tigrones, the Big Tigers. The Tigers are behind bars now. This is the maximum security wing uh, of the prison. There's just over 1,400 uh, men here. Um, What's interesting, 95% of them are in prison for gang-related crimes or terrorist-related crimes, as it's now been designated by the government. What's interesting, though, is, is also that, as in, unlike other prisons, they're all in the same gang. This is the Big Tigers uh, gang. Everyone in this prison is part of it. And they're the ones who have been uh, locked up. And, of course, it sort of indicates just how much, through society, the gangs have spread. The military says they'd planned the takeover of the prison for a year. They were just waiting for the orders to move in. It's, uh, it's totally different right now, because right now we have the, the control here. Uh, before, uh, the inmates got the control. Taking control of the prisons is widely regarded as the key to cracking the problems caused by the gangs and the cartels. Taking them off the streets, imposing discipline. including instructing them to chant slogans praising their country, is all part of the strategy to weaken the gang's hold of the barrios. Whether it will work or not is far from certain. Outside of prison, it's beach party time in Ecuador. A party that still needs protection, though. What can only be described as bizarre is the presence of heavily armed marines patrolling the beaches and beach bars to the sound of booming Latin American pop music. Just a few weeks ago, car bombs and murders were so common here that the beaches, bars and restaurants were empty. The gangs had taken over, but now, at the very least, they've gone underground or to jail. This man, Javier Brutron, the governor of Esmeraldas, is credited with bringing about this transformation. A former chief of police here, Ecuador's president, tasked him with turning things round, bringing him out of retirement. Normal people don't, it's necessary that they recover the liberty because they are walls in the, in the, in the houses. And now we, we, can, we can see a lot of people here, we can, uh, we can enjoy how, how the families are, are, are walking here. Day and night, the governor, albeit with permanent security, makes sure that he is present and visible, though the gangs want him dead. People treat him like a rock star, however. The crackdown on gangs is just part of a project to change Ecuador's future. It's working for now, but it really won't be easy. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Esmeraldas, Ecuador.